Well, <laughs> where do I start with this? Uh... <laughs> this movie was a goddamn masterpiece of bad choices. All of it. I was almost embarrassed to buy the ticket. Okay, I was almost embarrassed. The theater employees actually felt bad for charging me because this movie should have been fucking free, okay? I've watched Requiem for a Dream on LSD and I've watched The Holy Mountain on LSD, but this, nothing could prepare you for what Cats has to offer. <laughs> I'm pretty fucking sure I had a religious experience. The best part of the movie was when uh, the tap dancing started and the lady behind me was like, that is a gay cat. Okay, there was, there, was, there was two things that bothered me the most, and it was uh, the human hands, the weird, the weird human hands, you can't get over that, right? You're just watching this, and the human hands, the fucking human hands, and the two mice children who straight up just walked out of a PlayStation 2 game. If you're gonna do CGI, don't, don't, don't make the cat's faces human. I can't see a fucking cat, okay? I see Judy Dench, it's fucking distracting, dude, okay? This movie should have been animated. This movie should have gone full Pixar. Why, why did they even use CGI? Why, why, what the fuck was the point of CGI? Just get a stellar cast, right? And just have them do a, a live theater play and film it. Or just go full fucking CGI and make it animated. Even without the bad CGI, there was some questionable choices in set design, okay? Some 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 stuff was human sized and some stuff was cat sized and some stuff was weirdly nowhere in between. And, and the cats themselves, Jesus Christ. If Disney makes a live action movie of the Aristocats, I want it to look like this. This is this is literally an insult to life itself. My my cat died six months ago. And I'm so glad he's not around to see this. What have we done? There, there was like this weird fucking sexual tension between all the cats. It seemed like everybody wanted to make out with each other. And I was like, Jesus Christ, I hope this doesn't awaken something in me. <sighs> Am I supposed to be watching this? What? Why do I want to fuck the moon cat? I was wondering. This isn't right. <sighs> it just made me really uncomfortable, okay? If I could, if I could erase my mind from this fucking movie, I would. I never thought I would regret something in my life. Oh God. I left, I left the theater feeling disgusted at myself. Disgusted. But you know what? I say go watch it. Go watch this shit. I went into the theater like, let's just, have, let's just watch this film, have a good laugh, you know? And a laugh I did. And it was genuinely one of the funniest things I've ever experienced. And I was sitting there laughing at the fucking train wreck that was cats, having a good time, when it all kicked in. And I'm sitting there and I'm seeing their fucking face and I'm seeing this sexual tension, right? And I'm like, my heartbeat started racing. I'm sitting there, right? And I'm starting to regret my life choices. Holy shit, what the fuck? And I'm watching this, I'm watching the colors, and I'm watching these fucking cats and their hands, their fucking hands, dude, what the fuck? Everything's huge, the, the books are big, the fucking chairs are big, and then there's human-sized things, there's big stuff, and I'm like, what the fuck? I drop my popcorn, and I think, holy fuck. Holy fuck. See, when, when you see cats, you're not seeing a movie. You are seeing a dimension, a brief rendition of the looping horror that is cats. Cats does not happen on screen. Cats was not filmed in our world. Cats may have been rendered by human hands. And it is perhaps those human imperfections in its replication which preserve our human sanity. Our inability to make cats perfectly. That is what saves us. For to look at a perfect rendition of cats would be like to gaze into the nuclear chaos that is the center of creation, and it would shatter our reality. At this point, my mind was just racing and I, I had to leave the theater. I went to the restroom and I threw water in my face and I sat there holding the, the sink, right? Breathing, <sighs> watching the water just go down the drain. It's gonna be all right, it's gonna be all right. It's just a movie, Juan. Relax. Holy fuck, that was horrible. I don't know how in the fuck I made it through half this film. I've, I've, I've always felt that psychedelics help us see truths that might otherwise be hidden. And the truth is that, that we should all, all of us, we should all be offended by this movie's existence. My every waking moment has been haunted since I watched that film. There's a part where one of the cats unsips her flesh to reveal new skin clothing underneath. I don't want to go to sleep anymore because I'm 100% sure I'm gonna have a, a, a fucking nightmare and I, I, I don't think I'm gonna wake up from that I, I am afraid that I'm gonna wake up 
in fucking cats. The thing is that I'll never get to know how cats end or if it ends at all. Because this is the worst fucking thing I've seen in my life. I went from having a good time, you know, laughing, having a good time, and as, as, as this shit kicked in, I was just, I, I was like, I'm scared. Oh, fuck. Should I be turned on? Ashamed? There is not an amount of alcohol in the world that would help me forget this. This was horrifying. Horrifying. I, I don't know if I'll ever recover from this. I was scarred. It's like every day we stray further from God's light. I don't know if numbers have any meaning in this context, but I'm not giving this a one or a two or any fucking score. The director of this movie needs to be put on the FBI's number one fucking list for a hate crime because this was awful. This was horrible. I'm honestly not sure what to say past this point. It, it was an experience that I don't wish upon anyone. Whoever Idris Elba's agent is needs to get fucking punched in the dick and fired for letting this man be part of this fucking movie. I thought I was gonna go in there and be able to explain to you, summarize what the movie was about, but I, I don't even know what the fuck I watched.